Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today is a very special day. Today we are going to start a completely new series on Azure, that is Azure Data Engineering course. This is the introduction video to cloud computing. In this video, you will learn what is cloud computing, why cloud computing is cheaper as compared to the on-premise services, why you should move to cloud computing, what is Azure, what does Azure offer, what is Azure portal, what is Azure marketplace, and how does it work. You will get to know everything in this video, so stay tuned with me till the end of this video and you will learn everything you need to know about cloud computing and Microsoft Azure in this very first session. So enough all the talking, let's get started. If you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. The very first question comes into our mind, what is cloud computing? Well, just like when you shop for your own computer, cloud computing lets you choose the power and features you need to run your hardware. The difference is, with cloud computing, the PC is in a cloud provider's data center instead of physically be with you. This lets you pay for only the services you use. Plus, someone else gets to manage the upkeep of the computer. Each cloud provider will have their own selection of services to choose from. But the basic services provided by all cloud providers are compute power and storage. So every cloud provider are gonna provide two very basic services. We are gonna discuss first the compute power. Compute power is how much processing your computer can do. For example, when buying a home computer, you may choose a computer with eight gigs of RAM and the latest processor to run the software you need today. But as the load on the computer grows, you find that it slows down. But with cloud computing, you can add or remove compute power as you need it. This saves cost since you only pay for the resources you use. Storage power. Storage power is the volume of data you can store on your computer. A traditional computer has limited hard drive space. Over time, you may run out of storage and buy another hard drive to store more data. However, with cloud computing, you can request more storage as you need it. Cloud providers manage the upkeep of the computer so you don't have to. They will make sure that there are backups, that the operating system is up to date, as well as making sure that everything is up and running 24 hours in a day. So as your business grows and your computing needs change, you can quickly bring on new computing resources in a cost-effective way. So that's all about the cloud computing. It's very flexible. You can choose your own operating system. You can choose the compute power you required or the storage you needed. Plus there are many other things which we will discuss in our upcoming videos. Now a question arises, why is cloud computing typically cheaper to use? Well. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services over the internet by using a pay-as-you-go pricing model. That means only you have to pay what you are using. You typically pay only for the cloud services you use which helps you lower your operational cost, run your infrastructure more efficiently, scale your business needs change. To put it another way, Cloud computing is a way to rent compute power and storage from someone else's data center. You can treat cloud resources like you would resources in your own data center. When you are done using them, you give them back. You are built only for that you use. Instead of maintaining CPUs and storage in your data center, you rent them for the time that you need them. The cloud provider takes care of the maintaining the underlying infrastructure for you. The cloud enables you to quickly solve your toughest business challenges and bring cutting-edge solutions to your users. Now another question arises, why should you move to the cloud? The cloud helps you move faster and innovate in ways that were once nearly impossible. In today's ever-changing digital world, two trends emerge. Number one, teams deliver new features to their users at record speed. Number second, 
Users expect an increasingly rich and immersive experience with their devices and with software. So we need to have this kind of solutions. Software releases were once scheduled in terms of months or even years. Today, teams release features in smaller batches that are often scheduled in days or weeks. Some teams even deliver software updates continuously, sometimes with multiple releases and within the same day. Think of all the ways you interact with devices that you couldn't do a few years ago. Many devices can recognize your face and respond to voice commands. Augmented reality changes the way you interact with the physical world. Household appliances are even beginning to act intelligently using IoT devices. These technologies are only a few examples and many of them are powered by the cloud. To power your services and deliver innovative and novel user experiences more quickly, the cloud provides on-demand access to a nearly limitless pool of raw compute storage and networking components, speech recognition and other cognitive services that help make your application stand out from the crowd. And lastly, analytics services that deliver telemetry data for your software and devices. So these kind of services you will only get in cloud. If you have to do that on premise, either it's going to cost you a lot. Otherwise, it would take a lot of time to establish such kind of services. But with the cloud, you can do these things in a matter of seconds. That's how you should consider to move to the cloud. Now let's discuss about the cloud providers in the market. In market, we have Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, Alibaba Cloud, IBM Cloud, and many more. But majority of the share, around 60% has been acquired by the top three cloud providers, that is AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. So if you want to choose your career, you can definitely consider them to make your career in cloud computing. Now the question comes, what is Azure? So Azure is the cloud provider by Microsoft. So Microsoft Azure provides two kinds of cloud services, that is public and private. So if some clients needs the private cloud as well, so Microsoft provides that service too, as well as they provide the public cloud services, which any company can avail. Now question comes, what does Azure offer? Well, with help from Azure, you have everything you need to build your next great solution. The very first comes the Be Ready for Future. Continuous innovation from Microsoft supports your development today and your product versions for tomorrow. Build on your terms. You have choices with a commitment to open source and support for all languages and frameworks. You can build how you want and deploy where you want to. Operate hybrid seamlessly. On premises, in the cloud and at the edge. Microsoft meets you where you are. Integrate and manage your environments with tools and services designed for a hybrid cloud solution. That means you can use your on-premise services as well as the cloud services and you can create your hybrid cloud services. We will talk more about the hybrid cloud services when we are gonna go further into this course. Trust your cloud. Get security from the ground up Back a team of experts and proactive compliance trusted by enterprises, governments, and startups. Microsoft Azure qualifies all the security and trust certifications from all the governments throughout the world. And after that only, you get the services from the Microsoft. Microsoft Cloud is very much secure. If you would like to know more about it, you can go on their portal and there you can find all the certifications and documents related to their security that you will get in Microsoft Cloud. What can I do with Azure? Well, with the help of Azure, you can build your application platform, you can do your data analytics, you can use the developer services, you can do your analytics and you can connect to the any IoT device to do the streaming analytics or you can also perform the analysis. And not only that, you can use a lot of compute services as well. How does Azure work? Well, this is very important and interesting too. Perhaps you have some idea how Azure works. So in this one, I'm going to explain you how actually it works. Azure uses a technology known as virtualization. 
virtualization separates the tight coupling between a computer's hardware and its operating system using an abstraction layer called hypervisor. As you can see on the top row on your screen that there is a hypervisor and it's going to help to do the virtualization of your systems. Hypervisor emulates all the functions of a real computer and its CPU in a virtual machine. It can run multiple virtual machines at the same time, optimize the capacity of the obstructed hardware, and each virtual machine can run any compatible operating system such as your Windows or Linux. So that's how this whole virtualization works. But this is not the only thing. And then your system should be connected over the internet and then all the data should go to the Microsoft data centers where all the hardware has been installed. So Azure takes this virtualization technology and repeats it on a massive scale in Microsoft data centers throughout the world. Each data center has mini racks filled with servers and each server includes a hypervisor to run multiple virtual machines. Now concentrate at the bottom diagram. A network switch provides connectivity to all of the servers and Azure system uses a switch to connect the different servers. And one server in each rack runs a special piece of software called a fabric controller. So this is very important. You should know what is a fabric controller. A fabric controller is a special piece of software which is going to run on a server. Each fabric controller is connected to another piece of software known as orchestrator. So now you can see those switches are connected with the servers using a fabric controller and the fabric controller is connected with the orchestrator. So the orchestrator is responsible for managing everything that happens in Azure. So when a user requests to create a virtual machine, the orchestrator packages everything that is need, picks the best server rack and then sends the package and the request to the fabric controller. Once the fabric controller has created the virtual machine, the user can connect to it. Azure makes it easy for developers and IT administrators to be agile when they build, deploy, and manage the application and services. In fact, building a virtual machine is just the beginning. With Azure's ever-expanding set of cloud services to help you meet your business challenges. What is the Azure portal? The Azure portal is a web-based unified console that provides an alternative to command line tools. If you don't want to use the command line tools, you can come over here, you can interact with it and you can create your solutions as per your requirement. With the Azure portal, you can manage your Azure subscriptions by using a graphical user interface. And in this, what you can do, you can build, manage and monitor everything from simple web apps to the complex cloud deployments. You can create custom dashboards for an organized view of your resources. You can configure accessibility options for your optimized experience. The Azure portal is designed for resiliency and continuous availability. It maintains presence in every Azure data center. This configuration makes the Azure portal resilient to individual data center failures and avoid network slowdown by being close to users. The Azure portal updates continuously and requires no downtime for maintenance activities. What is the Azure Marketplace? Azure Marketplace helps connect users with Microsoft partners, independent software vendors, and startups that are offering their solutions and services, which are optimized to run on Azure. Azure Marketplace customers can find, try, purchase, and provision applications and services from hundreds of leading service providers. All solutions and services are certified to run on Azure. At the time of publishing this video, there are more than 8,000 listings on Azure Marketplace. Azure Marketplace is designed for IT pros and cloud developers interested in commercial and IT software. Microsoft partners also use it as a launch point for all joint go-to-market activities. Azure services. As you can on your screen, Azure provides a lot of different services. Azure provides basically three kinds of services. Software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. So in the platform as a service, you will see there are lots of services like you have your media and CDN, you have integration, compute services, application platform, developer services, intelligence, analytics, and IoT as well as data. 
then we have the infrastructure services in the infrastructure services in case of compute you have the virtual machines and containers and azure kubernetes when it comes to the storage we have blob queues files and disk and if it comes to the networking it comes like virtual network load balancer dns express route traffic manager vpn gateway and app gateway so these are the platform as a services and infrastructure as a services but if you want to use the software as a services that also you can use and we will discuss everything in our upcoming videos getting started with the azure account so if you want to start with the azure accounts you have to first have a azure account if you don't have you can sign up for that you can create your free account with your work personal or school email address first you have to create the, your azure accounts then you have to have one subscription initially you will get a free subscription but later on you can buy as per your requirement then under one subscription you can create the resource groups and under resource groups you can have different resources for example your virtual machine your database your functions etc and now question comes how to create azure account well the very first you have to go to the portal dot azure dot com over there you have to sign up but before sign up you should have your credit card and one email accounts ready with you so there are basically two kinds of azure accounts one is for the students another is for the professionals or the one who are not studying but still want to learn the microsoft azure the Azure free accounts includes free access to popular Azure products for 12 months. Then also you will get $200 credit to spend for the first 30 days. And thirdly, you will get access to more than 25 products that are always free. But you should know that in case of a student account, you really don't need to have a credit card as well. Without credit card also, you will get the free access to certain Azure services for 12 months, a credit to use in the first 12 months, and free access to certain software developer tools and also you can sign up without a credit card so guys i hope this video was very informative for you to start our journey on azure data engineering course connect with us if you have any question or concern and also you can leave your comment in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos